now let us discuss bohr bari scheme so number 1 filling of electron in an atom is done by 2n square where n is a number of shell and 2n square represent total number of electrons that can be allocated in that particular shell so here are example if n is equal to 1 it is called k shell in the 2n square rule because it is k shell and it is having n 1 that is number of shell it is very first shell so therefore n will be taken as 1 so 2 into 1 square will become 2 electrons so we can devote only 2 electron in the first k shell if n is equal to 2 it is not uh, denoted as l shell 2n square give 2 into 2 square which is 8 electrons similarly n is equal to 3 m shell 2n square give 2 into 3 square which is 18 electron and lastly if n is equal to 4 which is known as n shell 2n square give 2 into 4 square 32 electrons so in this manner we can allocate the number of electrons to their respective orbitals now second point is the outermost shell cannot hold more than 8 electrons while second last shell cannot have more than 18 electrons even though they may have capacity to hold more electrons so this was bohr bari scheme